go to Bozeman today. I got no choice. I got to get uh, printing supplies so I can send out my uh, instructional DVDs. I need uh, supplies to, to do that with. And uh, the only place I can get them is in Bozeman. It's about a 120 mile round trip. A little worried about the roads, but uh, I called a couple people and they said that there's about seven miles of bad road, but other than that, it's not too bad. So I'm heading to Bozeman and uh, just getting ready to leave the valley here in about a second. I wanted to work on the clay today, but I just uh, was unable to because of the fact that uh, I have to do this. <laughs> I have to do this about once every once in a while, so. Uh, I'm not happy. Don't like driving in the wintertime. All right, everybody. I continue to drive. Well, it's, I'm really surprised to see the road going over the pass here at the Norris Pass is clear. That's good. That's a good sign. That means the road crews have been out uh, clearing all the, all the roads off. So that's. I was told that if I didn't go today, I might not make it tomorrow because tomorrow is supposed to snow. And uh, <sighs> so far, I'm so good. If it gets bad, though, I'm not a. I, I, I will turn around if it, it gets to where I think it's dangerous. So far, it's been okay, so maybe I'm just overthinking it. By the way, it was a good test for my GoPro uh, 5 and uh, Hero 5 and uh, see if uh, how good and stable the, the picture is because I am hold, hand holding this little camera. Oh, I'm loving this road. Well, I'm 34 miles to Bozeman from here. This is where the Norris Hot Springs are, as we just saw the sign go by. People come here and soak in the hot springs. It's just a wonderful place to come. I remember years ago, my daughter had a birthday party and all her friends, and I brought them all over here to the uh, hot springs, and it was a it was great. It was a great memory. I'm coming up to a valley, well, a small valley, where a city once existed. But when the gold played out in the mines here locally after the gold rush, uh, the town just slowly disappeared. And this is that this is that valley here. There isn't a sign of any buildings at all. That's how quickly nature takes back what man destroys. The only thing here now is uh, a graveyard and a couple of uh, stables that uh, were standing back then and a building that used to stand as the uh, assayer's office, I think it was the assayer's office, so uh, was destroyed by fire a few years ago. You know, all that's left is just the uh, outline of the uh, walls on the ground. Now this is where we meet the Madison River. It's iced over a little bit, not too bad. This is the old Bozeman Trail. This is uh, this is the old stagecoach route. And uh, when I first moved to Ennis, there were a couple older ladies at the time that uh, back in '87 that uh, 
just treated me really nice. Uh, Elsie Cunningham was a sweetheart of a lady. Uh, first thing she did was invite myself and a couple other people over to her house for chicken and dumpling dinner. And I'll tell you, she homemade those chicken and dumpling, or those dumplings. She used to be a uh, camp cook for a for her husband's cattle drives, uh, and her husband knew Gary Cooper. Um, they uh, grew up together out there, up there north of here in, in Helena. In fact, uh, Gary Cooper, he went to high school here in Bozeman, where I'm going today, and. Uh, so far the roads have been completely dry, which I'm so happy for. The only stretch I'm thinking that's going to be a little bit bad is once I get uh, past the canyon. But I thought for sure the canyon would be a bad place. Anyway, there's a sign up here that tells you that the uh, history of the area. For 30,000 years, people have been coming through this this uh, canyon. Um, my kids and I, uh, one time, just over at the foot of that mountain over there, uh, just off the side of the road, there's a dirt road that goes along the uh, foothills of that uh, mountain on that side of the river, and uh, there were teepee rings, uh, and those are stones uh, in circles that they call them teepee rings because they figure they were put around the uh, bottom edge of teepees. And we found those in the uh, deep grass. And when they were building this bridge, I'm about to go over it, um, they were excavating a, a toll house that used to be here at the river right here. And uh, they were excavating the uh, fireplace where the road is now is uh, where the toll house is, was and uh, they were excavating a buffalo scapula from the ashes of the uh, fireplace that's the river and there, the, that ice out there that's where the uh, pilings for the uh, toll bridge was back in the 1860s now, all the way to Bozeman, on the uh, right side of the road is Ted Turner's ranch. If you don't know who Ted Turner is, that's the guy who started uh, CNN. Anyway, they raised buffalo on this ranch to your right. I don't know if we'll see any buffalo today. dangerous country back in the 1850s and 60s because of uh, the Blackfeet. This is all Blackfoot country up here. And the Blackfeet just did never made peace with white man. And a lot of that had to do with the fact that uh, they were defending their land. And, uh, you know, they defended it against the Crows uh, and all the other tribes that tried to in come into this area now there's a few horses out there but no buffalo in the summertime uh, you'll see a lot of people college kids and people floating this uh, Madison River and uh, over that cliff right across the river, you'll see people climbing, uh, rock climbing over there. A lot of campers on that side of the river in the summertime. Well, the road that I thought was gonna be bad is gonna be good. It's not icy, it's not uh, slick. So far, the roads have been just this all the way. I'm so happy. Uh, nothing scarier than driving in Montana or Idaho or Utah in the wintertime.
Well, from what I understand, it's snowing like crazy over in the valley right now. So that means it's going to be coming north towards Bozeman. So it may be a hairy trip going home. I'm done here at Costco in Bozeman. I was going to make another stop, but I'm going to cancel that one because it's not that important. I got the ink I need, and I got the printing paper I need, and all the other stuff I need. So, And did a little shopping for a couple of one other person, so I'm heading home. Well, I'm getting in the snow now. When you can't see the mountains ahead, that's not clouds, that's snow. So, let's pray that I get home okay. I don't want to end up off the road, but just take it easy. Alright, camera off. Well, as you can see, the road's gotten really bad. If I had waited a half hour in Bozeman, this would have been impassable. But this is coming down the, the pass, the only part that I was worried about. And it's snow covered, but it's not enough to make it bad yet. So I gotta make a stop at the bottom of the driveway of uh, Todd Connor. I got some groceries for him at uh, Costco while I was there. And as you can see, the plows are out. He's turning around, I think. At least they're out working. I, I, I so appreciate what those guys do whenever it snows. That's a hard damn job in Montana. Well, as you can see, the roads clear up once you get down out of the high altitude. Well, here comes Todd. If you want to open up the back door on this side. Is that your damn GoPro? Yeah, that's my damn GoPro. Isn't that small? Here's your $11. Oh, thank you. Thanks, I'll take the GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> your uh, box is back here with uh. the uh, bananas in it. It's in the side door. No, not that door. Well, you can open Well, hold on. Unlock the fucker. We're going to have to bleep that one out. Oh, well, if you'd have gone on the other side. <sighs> <laughs> Just take the right box. Don't take all my groceries. <laughs> all right. See you later, my friend. Thank you. And I'll, let me turn this off. I'll see you. Try to get up my driveway. This is just north of town. I'm going to take you through town. The red building right there. There was a building right behind that building. That's where my studio used to be. And I used to drive here every time I wanted to work in my studio. I wish I had the studio because it got me away from the house and TV and all the other distractions. Here's uh, the fire station. There's the grade school just ahead. And that flag is right at the uh, Veterans Memorial where I have my uh, monumental bronze of a young man looking up at the flag at the uh, memorial it's a penny cheaper for gas here 221 and 9 tenths and we're coming into Ennis Ennis got started back in the 1860s when a gentleman came out with supplies for the uh, miners up uh, in Virginia City after the big gold strike up there on the Ruby River. And Ennis got started because uh, some guy needed, the guy needed to uh, graze his animals that brought out all the supplies in the wagons. And uh, they told him the grass down here by the river was the best. I'm gonna take you by the river real quick. It should be gorged. Uh, it, it was last time I went over, and I'll, I'll turn around and come back and take you to my house. Oh, they're building something new here. 
Wow. bridge over the river. It used to be a two-lane, uh, a real small bridge at one time. And you can see that the uh, river is gorged. That river goes from those trees to those bushes. That's normal. So that's uh, pretty well frozen over. All right, coming back into Ennis now from uh, the river. That uh, mountain right there ahead is actually a hill. It's uh, part of the gravelies, and one of the last, I think, the last one of the last uh, wild horse herds are in the southern part of those uh, hills. used to live. right there in the center is the one I used to live in for about 30 years I think they sold the house but I'm not certain on that that's our post office right there that's where I send my, all my DVDs out from Just over those uh, mountains right there, the uh, gravelies, uh, is Virginia City. It's about 14 miles over the mountain there. That's where the gold rush happened back in the 1860s. A couple of guys are camped on the Ruby River, hiding from some, I think, Bannock Indians or something, back in the 1860s. And uh, one of the guys started panning the river just to see, and they found a huge thing of gold in the uh, river there, so that started a huge gold rush back in the 1860s here, and this is my home. Oh, it's nice. No wind. It's actually pretty warm for this time of year. Alright, time to go in the house and call it a day. See you guys next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.